Hi everybody, Angela Cruz here. Thanks for joining me for this video, which is about my Dagny Dover Clutch Wallet. So I have been using it consistently, and I'm gonna be honest with all of you, I have been loving it. It is a little bit heavy, but it doesn't bother me because of this simple part right here. So whenever I feel like my purse is just a little too heavy, I just take this part out and just throw it in my purse because it has, you can put your loose chains and anything else you may need, so that's really convenient. I love that it's magnetic. Um, the magnetic part doesn't feel like that crazy secure, but I don't ever worry about it because it's zippered. So the likelihood that that will fall out is very slim. I really do love that you can keep a lip gloss here. So my favorite part is the magnetized removable wallet part itself, but I really also love that there is a hidden pocket where you can keep your passport. This summer I went to Amsterdam, Germany, Madrid, Phoenix. I mean, I just went to a lot of places. Yes, I did go to Louisiana. There was just a lot of traveling for me. So the reason I purchased this wallet is because I wanted something that could go with me and look very classy, which I feel that this does. I love the portability of this. As you can see, here is the size. And I also love that this is a really convenient part where you can make it light. You can hold it like kind of like the purse. You know, like I'm just going to the mall and I'm gonna carry this purse, so that's cool. I never do that though. I always keep it like the clutch. So this strap does say Dagny Dover. I don't know if you can see that. So I also wanted to show you the chain, the removable chain that you can use on your shoulder. So one other option you have is to make it like a shoulder bag, which I thought was so convenient. I have only worn it like this one time. So you can wear it like a crossbody bag, or you can do it like a one shoulder kind of thing. I personally don't use it like that a lot, but I just think it's a really nice option to do that. Oh, and by the way, this shoulder strap is adjustable. So for example, if I were wearing it on one shoulder, I would tighten this up. And if I were wearing it across the body, I would leave it like this, which is on the, on the farthest gives you a little more extra room. So I have before clasped onto one of these clasps. Why is this clasp wanting to get stuck on me? Like it's wanting to get stuck open. I have to force it to want to close. I've taken my car keys and I've actually clasped this onto it. Why is this clasp not wanting to close? I don't understand. Anyway, so then you close it like that so your keys are actually part of the wallet. That is so convenient. If you do want to use this just as your purse, like let's say you're running into the supermarket so you don't want to bring your big bag, which I do all the time, you can take your cell phone right here in this zippered pocket. You can just stash your cell phone, close it, and it's secure. Done and done. And supposedly this little pouch can fit an iPhone 6 Plus. I don't know if that 6 Plus counts with a case on it or not, but I have the iPhone 5S and it fits right in there and you saw I had a Lily Pulitzer case on it. So that works out very conveniently. It doesn't make it too bulky. I still can zip it with the phone inside it, so that's super convenient. So this is my final review. I say this wallet is the best wallet I've ever had and if I had to buy it all over again, I absolutely would, so I recommend it. They have a lot of colors. I will link below Below to where you can purchase this for yourself. Hopefully this gave you an idea of a wallet that you may want to add to your own collection. Thanks for tuning in. If you like what you saw, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have more videos coming out soon. I'll see you in the next video and I hope you have a great day. Bye.